So it says that the value of a car is modelled by the formula V equals 16,000 e to the negative kT plus some constant A. Where V is the value of the car in pounds, T is the age of the car in years, where K and K and A are both positive constants. Now, here we go. So given that the value of the car is 17,500 quid when new, okay, keyword new means when the time is zero, when it's fresh off the bat. And 13,500 pounds two years later. So again, when T is two at this value price, find the values of A, show that K is this, and of course, we'll get to see in a bit. Now, I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did part A. So I just said, okay, so since the car is new, this implies T is zero. So that means the value of the car is 17,500 pounds. So all you want to do is use your original equation here, plug in the value for V at 17,500, plug in value at T equals zero rearrange and make a the subject and voila 1500 quid and that's your constant for a so that's it so that's a done one mark so not too bad now show that k equals the natural log of 2 over root 3 now you can get this one by using t equals 2 the second part second information so i said okay so the value of the car is is what it told you when t is 2 using the original formula again plug in what you know so we got the value at 13,500 here. We got the value of A being 1,500. And we know T is two. So K times two is two K. Put that there. And just rearrange to make um, the E value the, um, the subject. So I firstly subtracted 1,500 uh, 1, from here to get 12,000, then divided 16,000 and simplified this to get three quarters. So now we're at this stage. We've got E to the negative two K equals three quarters. And now the rest of the steps are easy. To get rid of the E, remember you can use this opposite, which is the natural log, i.e. ln. And when you go ln times E, it cancels them out and you're left with minus 2k. Of course, you could do ln on both sides, so you have ln 3 quarters. And finally, just divide uh, minus 2 across, so you get minus a half times ln 3 quarters. And be very careful here, because unfortunately your calculator will not give you this expression. You would have to find case um, step by step. So what I did... I use the log rules and I realized that anything, a, a value in front of the log will become a power. So it'll become 3 to the power of negative half and 4 to the power of negative half. So a bit like this. And work at them independently, anything to the power of half is square rooting. So this is square root 3. When you've got a negative sign, it's a reciprocal. So it's 1 over root 3. Likewise here, this is 1 over square root 4, which is 2. So 1 over 2. And because they're both 1 overs, just flip them upside down to get 2 over root 3. This part you can put in a calculator and you should get that. So that was easy. As for the last bit, C. Find the age of the car in years so not when, the, when the value of V is 6,000. Easy. So just substitute 6,000 for V here. Substitute, um, yeah, and then just find the value of T. You've got everything else now. You've got K, you've got A. Just find T when V is 6,000. So what I did here, I mean, I left, I didn't put the value of K now because this value is, is it's just going to kind of make your calculation more complicated. So just, just call it K for now and just work your way through it. So replace V of 6,000, subtract 1,500 across to get 4,500, divide 16,000 and simplify to get 9 over 32. Again, making the E value the subject, taking the LN on both sides. So E and LN cancel out. So you're left with minus KT equals LN uh, 9 over 32. Divide minus K across. So you got the value, so you got the value T. Now you can put the value K back in, which, which was um, what? LN 2 over root 3. Smash this all in the calculator and you should get about 8.82 years. And yeah, that's it. That's literally all they want. And again, to two decimal places. So not much to say here. This question was very easy in my opinion. But yeah, if you understood it and you enjoyed the video, give me a like, thumbs up, subscribe, share. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. Ciao.